Hello everyone, this is Frida Walker with Melt Away the Fat with Your Mind. Please join me as I share my personal success stories and strategies of losing weight while beating my addiction to food binge eating. Hello everybody and thanks for joining me once again. This is Frida Walker with Melt Away the Fat with Your Mind. And today we are going to talk about food and making food taste really, really good. So I have celebrity chef Tregay of Cutthroat Kitchen, yay, to help us do that because we want the food to taste good because you want to eat it. If it doesn't taste good, you're not going to want to eat it. So we are going to go over some seasonings and first of all, tell us a little bit about you and what you do. Well, I am a personal chef. I also do catering, cooking classes, meal planning, which is awesome because that's why we're here today. Um, I've won Cutthroat Kitchen, I've won Guys Grocery Games, I've been on Food Network several times. So I'm just a lover of all things food. Yay, good for us. <laughs> <laughs> so. I know for me, I always struggle with seasoning my food. My chicken is dry sometimes. <laughs> it's dry with salt and pepper. Okay, so <laughs> what are some just some basic seasonings that we can put on a chicken to just because I know different seasonings based on the meat, but let's just yeah. start with chicken. Oh, uh, chicken is chicken is a great thing because it's so versatile. Um, you can use so many ingredients. One of the main ingredients that I really like that is good now is curry. Okay, powder, curry. Or even turmeric. And they're kind of almost one and the same. Turmeric is one is a strong yellow spice that is used in Chinese and Indian um, healing processes. It helps heal your bones. Um, it also helps with cancer and things wow, like that. Okay. And curry powder, really the, the more plentiful you are with it, the bigger of a help it is. But that also helps with cancer um bones when your bones are aching um wow, all kinds okay. of things like that yeah so so people don't know that these spices really help spice up your life it just really helps you all the way around yeah so you don't have to just use salt and pepper it's okay <laughs> to try other things <laughs> okay good so we are going to get to the demonstration and show you how to season your food about what you got right there okay so here we have your regular bone-in chicken, piece of chicken. Now it's always good to have a nice bone-in piece of chicken because the bone is also gonna give the meat flavor. People don't know that everybody loves, you know, boneless chicken breast, but that bone, oh my God. So you got a little sea salt. Sea salt is good because you don't need a lot of it. You can just use just enough, not a lot. And then here we have the curry. Um, we're gonna do the braising process for those of you at home that really don't know how to um, cook without the food being dry, without the chicken being dry. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna season the chicken with a little salt, a little sea salt on both sides. And as you notice, I'm not really doing a lot. It's just a little. Okay, so just take your three fingers and do the sprinkle. 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 That's a, remember, that's a three finger pinch. So then you're going to want to rub it in. Yes. Massage it. Yes. As you know, my chef once told me that you must always treat your meat like a lady. Ooh. You know, you have to massage her. You have to make her feel good. This is also affecting your chicken. This is infusing those flavors into that meat. And a lot of times it's good to also leave it in the refrigerator overnight unless you're just absolutely starving. But at least leave it for like five minutes. Okay. Because those five minutes is going to make all the difference. It's going to suck it in. That moisture is going to suck that seasoning in. Okay. And that, like I said, that's what happens when you put it in the pan. All that black stuff, burnt mm -hmm. stuff, it's the seasoning. Yeah, it's the seasoning that's just falling off like, oh, I didn't make it. So the next thing that we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to head over to the stove and we're going to do the braising process. Okay. This is going to help with all of your uh, dry chicken issues. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that we have our perfectly seasoned chicken, um, we're going to put it in the pan and Chef Trigay is going to guide me through this process. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm going to show you how easy it is to braise chicken. It is so easy. So if she can do it, you anybody can do it. Can do it. Okay. <laughs> So what is this mixture we have here? So this mixture we have here is just a little bit of the curry seasoning, a little, um, little sea salt, less than okay. a teaspoon of sea salt, okay. and water. The reason why I'm using water is because a lot of times people buy those store-bought vegetable stocks and they have a lot of sodium. So if you don't make your own vegetable stock, then it's just best to do water and whatever seasoning you're seasoning the meat with. 
But that's a great substitute for the salty vegetable stock. Yes. Great. Yes. That's great. So yes. we don't have that recipe at the bottom of the video. Absolutely. Absolutely. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take the chicken. And you're going to put it in this pan. This pan is already on medium, so it's kind of hot with a little bit of olive oil. Once again, a teaspoon of olive oil. And so you're going to get it in there, and it's going to get that little... You're going to get in there and it's going to get that little sizzle in there and it's going to start to sizzle and you're going to get it brown. Now, if you feel like it's not sizzling enough, it's okay. We're just going to turn it up a notch. Okay. And just get it hot. But you always want to start it off to like medium low. You don't want to have it on scorching hot because then if you do that, it's going to get super black. So I would rather, <laughs> <laughs> I would rather turn it up from low to high than from high and try to drop it back down to low. You know okay. what I mean? So you don't burn the oil. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let it sizzle. Now be patient, okay. grasshoppers. <laughs> be patient. You're gonna wanna let it sit there for a minute. Let the magic happen. And you're gonna also start to see, you see the yellow start to kind of dissipate from the chicken into okay. the oil, if you can kind of see it. Okay. And then we're gonna get ready to flip it over. I said count to 30. And let it cook on one side. Mm -hmm. okay. And let it cook on one side and then flip it over. Well, the goal is to get it brown on all sides before we add the liquid into the pan. Okay, so this is something you can do at home, easy peasy. Watch us do it. Yes. Make it happen. Yes. Okay, so now we are going to flip, flip the chicken over. Yes. Now you see how it has that nice golden brown oh. on the back. It's not burnt, but it's, you know, it's nice and crispy. And it's almost so crispy, you can see the crisp. And the um, seasonings are on there. Yes, and the seasonings stay attached to it. <laughs> That's the most important part. We want to keep the seasonings attached. Don't try this at home. I'm a chef so I can do this. But, you know, even when you take it out, you'll see how crisp it is. You see that nose. And once you release that oil out, now you have your chicken. You may have just a little oil left, but that's okay. Because these are good oils because it's extra virgin olive oil. And then you're going to pour in your curry water. Now I got a quick question. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put it in that amount of oil first. Mm -hmm. Yep. Once it browns, starts to brown, I'm going to pour some of the oil out. Absolutely. You're going to pour some of the oil out because we don't want it to seep in oil and we still want this to be a healthy meal. Oh, um, gotcha. when A lot of times when you're using skin on chicken, that's releasing extra fat. So it's going to add it to that olive oil fat that you already had in there. So you want to release some of that because you have some of the chicken fat, some of the olive oil fat, and it's kind of just too much fat. Right. Got you. Got you. So that makes plenty of sense. Mm -hmm. So you brown it. You put in the oil to brown it. Yes. And then you pour the oil off. Yes. And then you add the, the mixture to keep the juices in yes. and to braise it. Yes. So we're going to add the water. We're going to add your curry water to the chicken. Okay. You want to at least get a, a good amount of water in it. You want your water to hit the chicken till about half. Okay. So we have the majority of it out and the rest of it at the bottom. This is going to create a steaming process almost to a sense. Okay. This is what's going to make your chicken moist and juicy and, you know, things like that. So this is how you keep the chicken moist and juicy. Mm -hmm. And she, you, and that's the second cup of water. Yes. Okay. Yes. We did about two cups. So it depends on your pan. Of course, if we had a smaller pan, you may need a cup and a half. Okay. Um, but just always remember it needs to be half the line. The water should be to half of the line of your chicken, basically. Okay. Okay. Um, so no matter how much water you use, don't go past half. Don't ever cover the top. Okay, so don't drown the chicken. Don't drown it. But just, water it just enough. Just right, just enough. Um, and, and, and that's one process because if you want, but if you want your chicken to stay crispy mm -hmm. um, on the outside but juicy in the center, mm -hmm. then you really don't have to add the braising liquid. Um, you could just sear it like we did before and put it in the oven and finish it that way. Oh, yay! Because yes. I think most people like the crispy. Yes. Like, so if you still okay. want it a little crispy, curry chicken, you know, is often really, you know, moist and braised. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show you the braising process. But even if you wanted a crispy piece of chicken, you would sear it on the outside the same way that we just did, but instead of adding the liquid, pop it in the oven. So... And with some brown rice and some veggies, the braising is the bomb.com. Yes, yes. If you're going to use it with some kind of rice or something, you want that liquid because that's almost your sauce. Mm -hmm. And it's going to just infuse so much flavor into it and it's going to change your life. You're going to be like, oh my God, no more salt and pepper, dry chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, now let me ask you this real quick. So the first thing we want to do is we brown it. We use the oil to brown the chicken mm -hmm. and then we flip it over mm -hmm. and then we add the liquid. Mm -hmm. 
right? Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So now the final process is you're already going to want to have your oven preheated to about 350. Okay. Um, and it and also depends on how big the chicken is. This is a smaller piece, so it may take about 15 more minutes in the oven from okay. the searing process. Now let me ask you this. How long do we leave it in the pan for the braising process? That's what we're going to do next. So okay. once you have your oven to 350, you're going to put that in the oven. So we're going to take Now how long do we cook it on each side in the pan on the stove when we're braising? Once you put the liquid in, it goes into the oven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, so this is a new step we're about to do. Yes, so, yes. Okay. So now we have the liquid in, it's going, you don't have to boil it. Now, you can do it on top of the stove, mm -hmm. but I feel like that the, the oven and the heat just almost circulating around that chicken in the oven, it just brings mm -hmm. it, it makes it even more moist. So I like to finish mine in the oven. So start it on the top of the stove with the oven safe pan okay. so you can finish it in the oven. And we want to do what the chef does because her food is bomb.com. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven. That's easy. That's easy. That's all you got to do when you set it and forget it. You leave it. If you can set your oven for a certain timer, of course, it's on the oven off. And you set this oven for a certain timer for, like I said, for a smaller piece of chicken like that, maybe 15 minutes. Okay. Maybe 15 minutes. And then you'll come back, you'll check your chicken, and you'll know it's ready because you'll be able to pull that meat straight off the bone. Ooh, yeah. And that's the braising process. Okay. Now we have this beautiful piece of chicken. Now the first piece we did had the bone in. Yes. For our yes. demonstration, but this has the bone out. Same process. Yes, same process. And it's a braising process, so you can always see how easily it was mm. to break that chicken off. Yes. And to just be able to pull that chicken apart. It should not be very hard. And you see? Mm-hmm. Yep. There you go. And that's what it's all about. You just want something light, something healthy, something that's going to help you your mind body and spirit mm -hmm. curry is a very 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 good um seasoning chicken is a good, very good you know protein and then you know you see i have the green on there with the herbs and the parsley all herbs are great for you so and it's very juicy mm -hmm. and the whole key to this especially for a binge eater is you want to have foods that are prepared and like i said if they don't taste good you're not going to eat them so to have prepared foods so when you have that binge and that craving hits you, you have something that you can eat. This is very good. It's juicy. It's like I said, it has plenty of protein. The curry is healthy for you. That that helps aid the body in other areas mm -hmm. other than just weight loss. So this is this is wonderful. I'm very happy. So thanks for watching. This is Frida. Melt away the fat with your mind. And Chef Tregay, thank you for this demonstration. No problem. Anytime, anytime. Be sure to give everybody your website so they can find some other wonderful recipes. Yes. Please go to www.chefTregay's, that's C-H-E-F-T-R-E-G-A-Y-E-S dot com. And if you want to check me out on Instagram, it's at Chef Tregay. Yay! And be sure to go to meltawaythefatwithyourmind.com. Get yes. other resources to help you control that binge eating and lose weight and be healthy. Yes.